Hi, this is Courtney McGee with Fusion Video. I'm here with Tommy Wells. He is here as a nominee for the DC mayoral debate. Um, and I'm gonna ask you a little bit about your vision and your focus um, coming into this election. Well, thank you very much. I, um, I first started here in the District of Columbia as a social worker working with children. Went to law school at night, became an attorney, and continued to work on making this a better city and worked, I was a um, school board member to work on school reform and now I'm on the city council. This election, really we're at a crossroads for our city. We've had an unprecedented amount of, of scandals. We've got a mayor under investigation by the FBI and the U.S. Attorney for running an illegal campaign. We have three city council members that have had to leave the council. One's in prison, one's awaiting sentencing. And then we have three more council members that have been admonished by the ethics board and fined for really not following the laws of the council. Our, the one thing that will turn any city anywhere backwards is having a corrupt government. So I'm running to bring integrity back to government. I'm also running to get corporate dollars out of our elections. We've seen throughout our country that unlimited giving of, of money by corporations, limited liability corporations, anonymous money, really does corrupt government. In fact, that's what's happened with, you know, in the past mayor's race, why the mayor may be indicted is because of corruption in government. So I'm running without any corporate dollars. The only money that I take in order to run are from individuals. Every name and address of anybody that gives money to me to help me run is, um, you know, is known and searchable. So I'm really running to bring integrity back to our government so that the residents trust us, so that I answer to the residents and also to the voters. The other reason I'm running is I have a vision of school reform. In the ward that I represent, we've turned the elementary schools around. Nobody else running has done that. We've got an elementary school in walking distance to every child and family that's a quality first choice school. And then the other part is, of course, is that we need a 21st century transit system. That as our city grows, we must have a streetcar system, a circulator system that moves people around the city in a way that not everybody has to get in their car to do it. Because as our city grows, if everybody has to drive a car, they'll be miserable. And so I have a vision for the city that brings about a great transit system, that continues to reform our education system, that does for the whole city, like what I've done in Ward 6, and then bring integrity back to government. And I know I can do it because I've done it. What do you feel as far as our taxes in the District of Columbia? Do you feel like we're moving towards a more progressive system, or do you feel... Well, the currently the way our, um, our income taxes are, it's not very progressive. I support a more progressive tax system. I do believe that we need to increase the standard deduction for people of lower income level so they can keep more of their dollars and so they can stay in the District of Columbia. I just led the fight in order to raise the minimum wage in D.C., but that puts all the responsibility on the employer. We have to do more as a government to let people keep more of their money so they can stay here, that they have the money, you know, this is a very expensive city to live in, and so we have to have a more progressive tax system. What would you say your biggest investment would be during this term? Oh, there's no question. I'm, the biggest investment I would make would be in the youth of, of our city. That I believe we need to put a hundred million dollar investment that means repurposing a lot of dollars that we currently have in our teenagers in the city. We can reduce the number of crimes committed by teenagers in half in just 24 months. We do that by every teenager that needs or wants an after school job, they should have one. I'm working now to decriminalize small amounts of marijuana that you know, generally you're going to have young people that involve in that. If they get a, a criminal charge, then it starts to disassociate them from economic, being able to get jobs and, and that sort of thing. I believe that investment in our youth is the best economic development investment we can make. What do you feel is causing or what is the biggest driving force behind some of our, our dropouts? Why we have such a high dropout rate? Well, it's because of disengagement from our whole, our whole city, from disengagement being invested in the success of our youth. That I, you know, my background is I have a master's in social work and a special, specialty in adolescent health. I know that we can make our young people successful. It needs to be one of the top missions of our government. We have over 30,000 employees in the District of Columbia that work for the government. That should be part of everyone's job and the mission of every agency should be part of what they do is engaging youth in the neighborhoods where the agencies are located. Getting them involved. Getting them involved with apprenticeship programs, internship programs, after school jobs, 
tutoring, all those kinds of things so that, you know. They're I, inspired, they're motivated. I know this as, you know, for me, I've been mentoring a young man who grew up in public housing since second grade. This year he's graduating from college. I'm proud that he's be beaten the odds, but I've been there with him the whole time. I know we can do it. Thank you, Courtney. Thank you so much.